Rough night at the ballpark for the Southern Ohio Copperheads. And Jake, I guess uh, the moral is you can't win them all. You can't play good every single night. And the Copperheads didn't pitch too well today. They didn't play much good defense. And that's why they fell 11-8 to to the Xenia Scouts. Yeah, a ton of mental mistakes. I mean, the two unearned runs they gave up to Xenia in the first inning. They came back. Blaze Salter had a three-run home run. They went up 6-2. to nothing, or six to two. They came back. We thought, oh, it was all Copperheads from that point on. They answered so well. and and But, you know, then there was a five-run inning for Xenia and they chipped back into the game. They took the lead and they held on to it. The Copperheads had only three errors in the game. It showed on the scoreboard, but there were many more mental mistakes, many more miscues in the def on defense. And, you know, this has become a recurring problem against Xenia is the mistakes defensively, and, and the team's a little frustrated with that. They put up eight runs, but the defense and the pitching weren't there. Yeah, emotionally after the game, the team was obviously not happy. You saw a lot of the guys leaving the, the dugout with some frustration, and it was it was for good reason. We talked to Blaze Salter, and we also talked to head coach Chris Moore, and they both expressed some frustration and some unhappiness about how the game played out. Yeah, I thought that we didn't really come out here, you know, with, uh, you know, fully focus. You know, I thought, you know, we need to pick up a couple of little things, and uh, we just really didn't do that today. And, you know, the score showed, I think. So. Hey, it's hard to say, you know. We'll 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 talk about it a little bit on the bus ride home, and and just try to process what what we saw. You know, uh, I think I'll be honest with you. I think we were I think we were we were we were mentally prepared to play. Uh, uh, I think our guys I think our guys you know they, they played hard. Um, what what I was a little bit disappointed is I don't know we were very tough. Um, so I think there's a distinction there. You know, when 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 things were going our way, it, it was no problem. But when things went a little bit bad for us today, you know, we were unable to stem the tide. And then, and frankly, that that was kind of the, uh, you know, the story of the game. With the defeat, the Copperheads fall to 16 and nine on the regular season, but they are still amongst the league leaders in the GLSCL right now. And they look to get back on track tomorrow as they travel to Licking County. Will be a game that has a first pitch again at seven o'clock. Pre-game for the broadcast will be 6.45. So if you want to listen in, as always, the road broadcast can be heard on copperheadbaseball.com. And also make sure you look into all of our other forms of social media. We have a Facebook page. Go look for us on Twitter at Go Copperheads and find us on YouTube. You can search Copperheads Baseball. We're constantly updating that. But with that being said, he's been Jacob Corgan. I've been Ryan Boyd. And this has been a Copperheads recap of an 11-8 defeat at the hands of the Xenia Scouts.